turn um, gears now from talking about what happened to what are the resources. Um, Matt alluded to it a bit, um, but we have a panel um, of some great energy service um, entities here in Minnesota, here in the metro region that, you know, really thought about how they could make a difference and how they could help out. And so we're going to start with Chris, Chris Coles from XL Energy. We'll talk a bit about some of the recovery efforts that they've um, put forward to help the community, the businesses and community. Thanks, Chris, for being here. Thank you. Um, so, yes, as um, she said, as part of our commitment to helping the neighborhoods and businesses repair and rebuild, XL Energy in, back in June put together a special offering that includes free energy consulting uh, services as well as bonus rebates. And so whether uh, you're replacing some damaged equipment or completely rebuilding from the ground up, our energy consultants can work with the project teams to ensure energy efficiency measures are incorporated into those plans. Um, and to help offset the upfront costs of the more efficient equipment, Xcel Energy is offering up to double the typical rebate that would be available for the damaged equipment. Um, and that might include uh, uh, energy efficient lighting or cooling or refrigeration, um, other equipment, things like that. And um, we've streamlined our processes and to handle the paperwork, I know that there's a lot of paperwork going on with the insurance companies. And so we've, we've streamlined to, things to make it as easy as possible. And the ultimate goal is to help the businesses save money as they rebuild and ultimately save energy and money for the long run. And as Matt I had talked about, um, we know this is going to be a long, longer term uh, initiative. And originally we had had that we wanted projects to enroll by October 1st. Well, obviously, you know, the significantly damaged or destroyed buildings need more time to put plans in place. And so we've recently extended our offer to July 1st of 2021. And um, so we're asking that customers get enrolled by at that point. Um, and next slide, you can go on. Uh, just to get started, uh, we ask customers to complete a really brief survey and the links, the links are there. Um, and based on, based on the needs, our energy consultants are going to identify the best path forward to give the customers the support they need and help them maximize the rebate dollars. And part of that is to, um, that they'll help you identify the energy efficiency opportunities. They'll document the estimated costs for the equipment, the energy savings and the rebates available and, and come up with some payback and help, help create a justification for purchasing the more efficient equipment. Um, then they'll help, and help you evaluate and prioritize the alternatives to, to choose what makes sense for your project. Um, again, if you need support in getting bids or, or um, identifying opportunities, are, we have support to do that and to offer the customer support throughout the process. Um, but in the end, the customer chooses the op opportunities that they want to uh, implement and then once the project's complete, our energy consultants come out to verify the installation and then they submit the rebates for payment. So hopefully it's pretty straightforward, but also comprehensive in giving customers the, the true support that they need. Thank you so much, Chris. I appreciate being here and I appreciate the efforts to really think about how to deal with it and reduce paperwork because as you noted, a lot of paperwork for insurance and all kinds of other things that are going on. So um, thinking about not just how you could put money um, in there, but really think about streamlining the process. So thank you. So next uh, we have Emma from Centerpoint Energy um, and um, she doesn't have slides, but she's gonna be talking about um, the programs and things that, that Centerpoint is offering for um, the, um, community. And so, Emma, thank you so much for being here. appreciate it. Thanks, Diana. Um, yeah, I don't have these slides, but I imagine the majority of us are at a computer. So I encourage you to Google centerpointenergy.com slash rebuild as I kind of just talk quickly through uh, the program that we have to offer our customers. Um, my name is Emma Shafi. I'm the Local Energy Policy Manager with Centerpoint Energy. 
We are the natural gas utility service provider for 800,000 customers in Minnesota. Minneapolis is one of the, is the biggest city in our service ter territory in Minnesota. Um, but we don't serve St. Paul just for um, some clarification context there. Um, so I live in South Minneapolis. Um, I'm within a block of East Lake Street. Um, a lot of you on the call know my, my colleague, Emma Ingebretson, and there's a great uh, picture in that presentation of Ingebretson's. Uh, so I have a personal connection to this this program, but as we've seen over the last several months, you know, the love for Lake Street and West Broadway and the other areas and businesses that were impacted by the summer civil unrest stretches far and wide. So I'm really happy to be able to talk about this program and this offering that we're doing. Um, so getting to that, Last month, we launched the rebuild program to help our customers get back on the, their feet. Recognizing that our customers are facing different challenges, the rebuild program aims to match customers based on their energy needs with the appropriate services. So for our customers that might be purchasing new natural gas equipment like heaters and water heaters, food service equipment, laundry equipment, for example, they can qualify for over 50 rebates that are triple the normal amount when they purchase high efficiency equipment. For example, a restaurant could receive a rebate of up to $6,000 for an Energy Star Combi oven. I don't know much about Combi ovens, but I, I did a quick Google search and I think they're upwards of $10,000 to $20,000. So, a 6,000 rebate is really exciting and a good chunk of it. Um, more commonly, we might see rebates for Energy Star fryers, which have gone from $1,000 to $3,000 when they're tripled. For customers that might need help identifying the energy savings opportunities at their property or for their business, we're offering our natural gas energy analysis program at no cost to the, the customers that qualify. And for more complex rebuilding projects, we will work within our existing customized service offerings to provide the maximum rebate possible um, for those projects. So to be eligible for this program, uh, you must have a Centerpoint Energy account associated with a property that was affected by the year's civil unrest. We're using the Star Tribune damaged property list as an initial way to reference and verify these properties, but um, we want to hear from our customers and that's not necessarily a limiting factor to eligibility, um, although that's kind of our, our benchmark at this point. Um, so eligible participants must also enroll in the program online. So there's a quick form on our website, centerpointenergy.com slash rebuild. Um, we want customers to enroll by December 31st of this year. And um, to be eligible for the triple rebates, they must be purchasing and installing that equipment uh, between June 1st of this year and June 1st of next year. However, we understand that a lot of our customers are going to be on a different time frame. So we're open to considering their circumstances and, and their unique situations. As long as they're enrolled by December 31st and they communicate their situations to us. Um, and that's it. I mean, we're trying to be as flexible as possible to make sure um, that the people who can use this program are able to use it. And I appreciate uh, Diana and Metro Certs for giving us this platform to help get the word out. Absolutely. Thank you. And, and uh, you know, I, I joked in the past that you saw what Excel was doing and you decided to up the game from double to triple. <laughs> I love that. Um, and, as, and as we know, you know, a number of the businesses are restaurants and, you know, there's a lot of equipment. So um, thank you so much. Um, appreciate you being here. And so now our third panelist is Chris Rusted um, with the Energy Smart Program at Minnesota Chamber of Commerce. 
Um, Chris, share with us how can you help the businesses along um, both in Broadway and um, along Lake Street? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Diana. So, um, as Diana mentioned, I'm Chris Rustad. I'm the program manager for Energy Smart. Uh, we're a program of the Minnesota WasteWise Foundation, uh, which is a nonprofit affiliate of the Minnesota Chamber of Commerce. Um, to give you a little bit of background about uh, Energy Smart, uh, we've been a partner with Excel Energy since 2008 and with CenterPoint Energy since 2017 to provide free energy consultations to businesses, um, regardless of size, um, you know, location, as long as you're a customer of Excel Energy and CenterPoint, um, there's uh, no charge at all for our services. Typically, um, the way that our, our program works is we start off with doing on-site energy consultations. Uh, Matt had mentioned earlier that we've been working with Lake Street Council for uh, about five years and um, Usually, um, we start off with that on-site consultation and doing uh, kind of a, an analysis of, of bills and then walking through your facility uh, to discuss what your energy-related concerns are, and then making recommendations from there and kind of um, working with you on implementation. So, you know, we can uh, act as a liaison between the utility representatives, um, contractors, as well as um, as well as kind of looking to see just you know what what equipment might qualify and uh, and what that uh, eligibility uh, criteria is. It's a little bit different um, with the current circumstances in that, you know, we're going to want to help you uh, sign up for the services uh, through Excel and CenterPoint that uh, Chris and Emma talked about. So, you know, helping you fill out that questionnaire for Excel to, to get that process started uh, so that their consultant can reach out. Um, and then with the CenterPoint side, um, you know, if you if you decide to go through the natural gas energy analysis program, uh, we just kind of want to be there and you know make sure that um, you're aware of what's happening. So you know we can kind of try and you know keep you up to date, kind of on what's going on. And um, you know another part of 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 our program is that we do have some grant funding available that you can use in combination with the rebates. Um, you would have to apply through our program in advance before you know purchasing any equipment or or beginning any kind of installation. Uh, but essentially, once you're paid out for um, for utility rebates on those, then you can um, recoup some of the some of the upfront funding that you had to to put towards projects and and get some grant dollars back for that. In addition to that program that we offer, uh, Energy Smart also administers some of the Minneapolis Green Cost Share Funds. Uh, some of you might be familiar with that, but it's essentially a grant program, again, that you can use for uh, energy efficiency projects. So again, essentially something that qualifies for a utility rebate. You can also use uh, those cost share funds, and um, that's something that we also administer through our program. So um, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have about that. Uh, you can also fill out a contact request form that uh, that will be provided in the link. And there's also an introduction video there to our program. Gives you a little bit more background uh, on who we are and um, the services that we provide. Thanks so much, Chris. Um, we are a couple minutes over, but I do. There was one question, and I think either Chris or Emma could answer this. Um, from my colleague Alexis. Um, are the extra funds that are contributing to the doubling and tripling of rebates coming from SIP dollars, and for those who don't live in the energy world jargon, that is conservation improvement program, it's a program for energy efficiency um, dollars entirely, or there's some other philanthropic or other funds that Excel and CenterPoint are using for those amazing rebates? Specifically for those funds um it's coming through the sip uh, but xl energy through our foundation have made donations through other organizations as well but um with these programs they are sip funded that's part of the center point program as well we have some flexibility in terms of um, our SIP program offerings and we're able to increase the incentives in this way um, for this program okay great Thank you so much. We didn't schedule a question and answer time for the um, this panel. Thank you so much for providing the information about how you're stepping up and trying to help um, communities and businesses along um, in Minneapolis that are working on rebuilding. We appreciate all your effort.